Hey, what's up, everybody? I hope you guys are doing well. Hey, listen, I just wanted to take a few moments to talk to you about loneliness and the importance of connection. And um, I felt like doing this video because specifically our church over the past few weeks, we've been focused on building healthy relationships. We've been talking about what the Bible has to say about building friendships. And I think that it's a relevant topic now more than ever because we're living in a day and age where people truly are battling anxiety, loneliness, and loss of connection. Uh, but before I dive into that, let me just take a few moments to invite you. Hey, listen, this weekend is going to be great because along that same the same lines we're actually having an event on Saturday called building healthy relationships with my great friends pastor Eddie and sister Thalia Cataveo on this day it's going to be cool because it's going to be non-formal it will be at our church so if you're in the Kitsap King or Pierce County listen come on out we're going to have dialogue about relationships they're going to have a, a time where they teach for for you know 15 uh, minutes each and then we're going to have an actual panel where we're going to discuss hard topics so i don't know what your situation is if you're dating if you're single if you're married or if your situation is just complicated because we got some complicated situations we don't want to sugarcoat anything we want to have some genuine dialogue and um i think it's important that that, that we experience building healthy relationships so come on out it's going to be a great time on saturday at 5 p.m and then also on Sunday, we will we will be having uh, Pastor Eddie. We're gonna have him preaching at the church. So again, personally wanting to invite you. Um, it is going to be a great time. So let me just take a few moments and um, I want to talk to you about a few different articles that I read that sparked the 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 idea behind. Uh, focusing on relationships one as i was in prayer i was praying for my church uh, i just feel like in this season uh, we need to focus on healing right healing from past wounds healing from uh just internal things right that that have happened to us but i was reading this article on psych central that really stirred me up and this is what this this article said it said the cause of modern social problems from divorce uh, to homelessness and obesity are often thought to be caused by poverty, stress, or unhappiness. Check this out. But new research suggests that society may be overlooking something even more crucial, and that is the importance of friendship. That's heavy. This is a study that was done by Psych Central. Um, and after reading that, you know, I just started to think that you know, the lack of friendship, the lack of connection is a huge reason people battle loneliness, anxiety, low self-esteem, depression, and even suicidal thoughts. And um, what's heavy is that we're living in a day and age where like, this is evident, like this, this, this is a problem that is glaring. Even with the pandemic, you know, prior to the pandemic happening, there were studies that showed that, 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 that on Medical News Today, Fox News, WebMD, you can look it up, that 40% of Americans prior to the pandemic were already stating that they felt lonely. Well, I looked it up, now that we're kind of like on the tail end of this thing, is that new studies have reported that 65% of people in our country have described increased feelings of loneliness. Now, here's the thing about loneliness. Loneliness can mess with you psychologically. Once again, this is like, this is stuff that, that scientists have found out, right? Another, uh, another article I read on Medical News Today, you can look this up. Scientists have identified, this is, this is what it says, scientists have identified links between loneliness and psychological issues. So, for example, you have people who describe themselves as lonely, lonely, they also reported that they feel anxiety, loss of feelings of connectedness, depression, and even battle suicidal thoughts. Now, now this isn't news, right? This is something that, that we can see. Like when, when somebody is doesn't experience connection over time, they battle this sense of loss. It's crazy because even within the same studies, um, if you look at like solitary confinement, right? When people go to prison, right? Um, studies have shown 
that when 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 people are punished right in prison they, they put them in what's called solitary confinement and and studies have shown that people that battle uh, a solitary confinement they, they battle anxiety stress depression hopelessness anger irritability feelings of hostility panic attacks which i think are huge but unspoken about now now why why does this happen to us why can loneliness mess with us psychologically well the easy answer is god didn't create us to live life alone right look at the, what the bible says in genesis 2 chapter chapter 18 it says the lord said it is not good for man to be alone now i know that this scripture it talks about right after that God created a, a, a helpmate suitable for him, right? So I, I know that. But but I think that that this scripture, when you look at closer, that, that you see that there's a humanity's need for connection, right? We were never meant to walk through this life alone. God didn't intend us to, to be isolated. And I think that in this season, we as believers, we need to understand the importance of connection and the importance of building long lasting relationships. Because here's the thing, uh, relationships can be messy, okay? Uh, people over time will hurt you, right? And I think that in order to build a healthy relationship, God's love has to be the foundation, right? Uh, what did Jesus tell his disciples in, in the book of John at the, at the at, close to the end of his life? What did he tell them? He said, love one another as I have loved you, right? So if we're supposed to love one another the way God loved us, then, then what's the difference between man's love and God's love? Well, the difference is that man's love sometimes has conditions and God's love does not have conditions, right? Man's love is can, can, can be um, inconsistent when God's love is faithful, right? And I think that in order to build healthy relationships, for some of us, we got to tear down some of the things we've been taught and what we've what we've learned over the years, right? Because for some of us, we, we've been around toxicity for, for, for our entire lifetime, right? Dysfunctional relationships within families, right? You have families today that are still battling over, over little arguments 20 years ago. And then you have children going up in that environment where, where, where their mom doesn't speak to their sister for whatever reason. And, and kids naturally will pick up on those tendencies. So I think that it's important that we understand the importance of building healthy relationships. And this is what we're going to talk about on, on, on Saturday. Again, it's going to be very informal. Uh, we're going to have a time of teaching, but we're also going to have a panel where we, where we are able to, to discuss tough questions. Now, now here's, here's what I, what, what I want you to know that isolation, right? Isolation is not from the Lord. I think that we live in a world where sometimes we would rather cut somebody off unfriend them right would not just we don't want to deal with them we'd rather we'd rather like like and here's the thing when you don't deal with a problem right like unresolved conflict right will, will always birth the silent treatment you ever have an unresolved conflict with someone and you haven't seen them for a while you guys don't have a like you just don't talk and and i think that now more than ever listen he, hear my heart we have to build healthy relationships because God didn't design us to walk through, through this life alone. I, I want to end this video with, with this thought. You know, there's a story in, in the book of Ecclesiastes, right? There's a story of a man. It's found in Ecclesiastes 4, 8. And this is what it says. There was a man all alone. He had neither son nor brother. There was no end to his toil, yet his eyes were not content with his wealth. He said, for who am I toiling, he asked, and why am I depriving myself of enjoyment? Watch what he says. This too is meaningless and a miserable business. Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either one falls down, he can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help him up. Now, this is again interesting because here you have a man He's experienced great success. He's experienced wealth. He was pursuing happiness, if you will. That's the terminology of this day. 
And here he is at the end of his life, and it's almost as if he's coming to a realization that his pursuits of happiness were in vain. Because he asked the question, he says, who am I doing this for, right? Why am I depriving myself from enjoyment? And then he says, this too is meaningless and a miserable business. Listen, living life alone, living life guarded is miserable. Trust me, I've been there where I didn't trust anybody. I felt like everyone had something, they wanted something from me. But over time, I've had to learn that two are better than one. In other words, I'm better off with people in my life. I'm better off with people there to help me when I fall, which takes being vulnerable. So listen, I don't know where you're at, but I want to encourage you. God didn't call you to walk through this life alone and God can bring healing, all right? He can bring healing. So this is my prayer that we as believers, we learn to connect and that we learn to fight uh, isolation off. And the only way to do that is really through connection. So listen, I love y'all. I hope this ministered to you. Um, I'll be putting short videos like this up uh, that, are, that, are, that are less formal on our church YouTube channel. And we'll be talking about more. I have more stuff I want to talk about when it comes to relationships. So anyways, this is Pastor Eric. Uh, log, log on, follow us live, click our YouTube channel, like and subscribe. Until next time, man, I love y'all. Peace. I'm out.